Greetings, greetings, greetings. Peace, love, and light family. I am Sis D. I'm a spiritualist and a naturalist, and I believe I'm an humble messenger and oracle of the Most High Yah. Sometimes I come to y'all with messages of encouragement. Sometimes those messages are just general information or food for thought, and sometimes they're correction or forewarning. And today's message is just kind of general information and a little bit of encouragement, okay? And I hope not to have a longer video. So before I go any further, let me say welcome, welcome, welcome to the first time viewers of the channel. I do hope and pray to the Most High that you enjoy the content that I'm going to share with you on today. And y'all, as usual, per the usual, I'm outside. It is getting a little bit dark and overcast here, but it actually is still daytime. But I wanted to definitely drop in a video on y'all really, really quickly, okay? Sis D has been crazy, crazy, crazy busy, but I miss my people. And plus I had a message, so I definitely wanted to pop in on y'all really quickly, all right? How y'all doing? Are y'all doing great? I hope and pray, to, and pray to the most high that you guys are doing incredibly well, all right? And as usual, Sis D is hanging in tight. Yes, I am. Okay, y'all. So let me just put this out over here real quickly, okay? Sis D stands with Kyrie Irving, yay, Nick Cannon, uh, everybody else. Uh, the chosen went the chosen ones are men who are standing firm, saying who we are as the chosen ones. If you're out there and you're listening, y'all share this message. Share, 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 share. It is super important that we surround all of our men that the outside nations and the outside world is trying to come against. We melanated women, we need to support our men, y'all. This is the hour right here, right now. It, history, right now, for us, is going to prove whether we did it or we didn't do it, right? So we have to support our men. I'm not saying that we have to just agree with everything that is said by everyone. No, no, I'm not saying that. But in this moment, y'all, if you don't necessarily agree, and you might not agree because you don't have all your research, all your information, all your facts, that's fine. But right now, we need to be unified. One mind, one voice, one spirit, one heart, one nation. Two kingdoms, one nation. That needs to be the position that we come to. Right here, right now. This is it. The rubber meets the road. Right here and right now. So y'all, we don't have time. Sorry y'all, the helicopter's going over. We don't have time for a whole bunch of, I don't like this person. I don't like that he said, nope, you're gonna have to choose. And, and 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 I would hope and pray that the bulk of us who are conscious, who are awake, we believe in the most high, you already get it. You're already getting the messages, you're hearing the sounds in the earth, and you the stirring has already occurred within you, and so you get what's going on. And so you can just say, yes, okay, I don't wholeheartedly agree, agree because I don't have all my facts, but right now I'm going to stand with my people. We're going to present a united front because that's what it's got to be. Y'all, let me also forewarn you, we're going to have traitors. We're going to have turncoats. We're going to have uh, sellouts that are going to be in our nation. And we got to look out for them too because in essence, they have become the enemy, y'all. That's who they are. And it's going to be a lot of people who, for the sake of money, uh, power, position, notoriety, fame, are going to turn. So just, we gotta be, we have to be expecting it, okay? And, and we see it happening. I did a video a while ago about the sifting, the parable of the sifting of the wheat and the tares. Y'all can see that thing right now. Mm hmm I don't care if the person on the outside is melanated in nature. If that person is speaking against somebody in the nation right now, in history, 
instead of doing as scripture says, if you have a, an issue with your brother or your sister, then you go to them. You pull them aside in private and you speak to him. You don't do that thing all foul and ugly like Shaq did that. That's not how you do that. If your brother who said something wrong and was way, way out of pocket, you call him up, you get somebody from your camp to call somebody in his camp, and then you say, my brother, I really need to speak to you. I, come, 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 let's reason together. That's how he should have done that. All these other people that are speaking out instead of being true, actual, good big brothers to him, if they really were concerned, because truth, truth be told, sis, sis D is calling and throwing the BS card down. It's BS. They're not concerned. They are saying, shut up, because you won't mess with our money if you keep talking that talk. That's what it is. It's fear that their money is going to be touched. So they're not concerned. They just, they just don't want their money and their position to be affected. That's all that is. Y'all keep watching and see what I say. Keep watching. Okay, that's the, that's that. Y'all stand firm with our people. You women, us, we need to stand and surround our men. Kyrie said he's not going to back down, and I applaud him. He should not step down. He should not back down. Let me tell you the reason why. So he says, we are the chosen people. Okay, blacks, so-called blacks, Negroes, Bantus, so-called Afro-Latinos, so-called Northern Nation, Southern Nation, Indigenous Amerindians, we are the true people of the book, we the true Jews. Okay, whether he said that or not, I'm saying it. Now, what I would say to also is, I don't care if Kyrie Irving stood and said, and th this is just an example, y'all, so just go with me. I don't care if Kyrie Irving stood in a press conference and said, yes, I am the king spaghetti meatball in the whole earth of noodle balls. I am the king ball. Do you not see my cry? He could have said something that outlandish. That he was the largest and best tasting scrumptious turkey meatball. That is his right as a human being to say for himself how he sees and views the world. His positioning is his positioning. And nobody has the right to tell him what is wrong, what is the... Nobody. Nobody. So however he said it, however he saw it, that it just is what it is. And all of these people trying to correct him and no, you shouldn't have said it. And you first of all, he didn't vouch for the for the documentary. He didn't even publicize it. <laughs> he just said, hmm, okay, there's some interesting stuff about it. Done. So now you're doing all this corrective measures, 500K, and go sit with the leaders and yada, yada. Y'all saw the, the tweet? Y'all saw it? Y'all saw it. They did the same, similar kind of thing to Nick Cannon. Similar it, um, incidences or corrective measures happened to some of the other ones who were vocal and spoke out. Y'all, it's, it's going to get sticky here. It's going to get sticky. But the point that I was making with that is Kyrie Irving, yay, anybody else who stands and speaks their truth, it is their truth. That's their position and how they see the world. Nobody should be able to come and tell them how they should see the world. We This, this is just, it's not okay. All right? But that lets you know the hour that we're in. And I'm kind of rambling around a little bit. Anyway, y'all, let me let me end out by saying this. Hold the line, y'all. Hold the, long, the line. Don't go jump out of your positioning. For those of y'all who didn't vote, kudos to you. Sis D, applaud y'all. Stay away. Stay the line. Let's double down. Put your foot on the pedal and mash it all the way. Let's turn up the heat so high that these other nations have no choice but to understand and recognize where we are as a nation of people. We've been the baddest from day one. We've been the it stuff. 
<laughs> since the beginning. Y'all, we've been, we've been, we, everything's been about us. Us, it always has been. So let's show these other nations what we really made of. It's going to get sticky, y'all. It's going to get sticky. Money might get touched. Sorry, I'm shaking, y'all. Money might get touched. Your job might be pulled. Housing might be affected with. Uh, yada, yada. Economics and stuff might be touched. But it's all right, y'all. It's, it's going to be all right. They might even try to touch some of our flesh. And I said that before, too. They're going to do us like they did the apostles and our foreparents. They, some of us might be put to sleep. It is what it is. When you are in a battle, when you're in a war, there are casualties. So we have to prepare ourselves, our minds, our hearts, our spirits for temptation. Some of us might be put to sleep, but y'all, we got to be prepared. If you're not willing to stand and fight for something, then you'll fall, fall for anything. Yeah. So I just wanted to put that to y'all really quickly. Thank you so much for taking a time, some time out of your day to spend with this deal today. I do greatly appreciate it so much. Um, y'all, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. If you have any questions about my rambling, emphatic, passionate message, go ahead and send me an email. With that, I'm going to close on out like I generally always do by saying, vibe up, y'all, vibe up. This is deep and I'm out.